What's up guys, this is Technicube and you are watching Mobile Computing Fundamentals. Well, in this session, we are going to understand channel assignment strategies. You see, this concept is basically relevant to or dependent to uh, frequency reuse concept. So, if you haven't visited uh, the previous videos where I had described frequency reuse, reuse distance, hexagonal, hexagonal structure and uh, cellular system components. I insist you to please visit those videos so that you can understand uh, you know a little bit little bit idea about uh, those reuse distance and other because as it comes in the in the channel assignment strategies uh, so the channel assignment strategies we have three assignment strategies first one is fixed channel and the one is dynamic channel and we have hand of strategy so let's understand one by one so you see here fixed channel assignment uh, it says that the channels are pre-allocated to different cells so pre-allocations it means if you having you know a cluster if let's say let's say let me give you here let's say if i have one cell and the another cell and let's say i have another cell is here then the channels are completely pre-allocated here and after the allocations of these channels uh, see here the there is a pre allocations it is not runtime you know channel allocations no one is giving you the runtime allocations the whenever the uh, these cells are being you know established the channels are completely pre allocated to these cells and now once the channels are you know completely established inside a cell the frequencies are going to be set so first criteria is to you know set your channels and then the frequencies are going to be set once the frequency has been allocated to specific channel then from the from the from those channels you know these frequencies are allocated to the users so it is a kind of channel so first is channel comes up then it frequencies comes up and then the frequencies are allocated to the users so this is a kind of this is a kind of uh, a kind of cycles that is going to be happen inside the fixed channel okay so the next thing is there are some important perspective here and the important perspective is that uh, if the if inside a cellular system or in a cluster that uh, every cell channel or the channel inside a cell is completely occupied or let's say the cell is completely heavily loaded your your all channel is occupied then whenever a new call comes up it's completely going to be blocked as your cell doesn't have enough enough channel to make that call attempt we need to block it out okay so here let me tell you that whenever a new call comes up here whenever a new call comes up and if your if your cells are completely heavily loaded heavily loaded this is completely heavily loaded because as your channels are completely occupied then this new call is going to be completely blocked here we cannot we cannot establish this call and therefore we have to block it out so the solution inside this so the solution is something like if your cell is completely heavily loaded then you can go for borrowing process by means of borrowing process it's something like if if i have a cell here that is completely occupied by its channel then he can ask its adjacent channel he can ask its adjacent completely adjacent channel to give me free channels okay to give me free channels he can ask the adjacent channel this this cell sorry not the adjacent channel but the adjacent cell and this cell will give the response if he is having the free channels okay if he is having the free channels then he will respond otherwise he will not okay so these are the two criterias now another thing is this borrowing process can be done with the help of your mobile switching center so this is the you know this is the uh, this is the what do you call this is an um, a kind of platform which gives you the borrowing process mobile switching center but it it goes through two following aspects the first aspect it says that donating cells is not affected affected by the borrowing process what does it mean is let's say let, let me give you one condition here and the condition is pretty much simple uh, the condition is let's say I have one cell here and that the adjacent cell is this and this cell is completely occupied you see here the channels are completely occupied so this is heavily loaded let's say it is having four channels and it is completely occupied okay uh, this is not okay I mean let me just it doesn't have the space here so it says 14 channel let me give you the condition 14 channel but completely occupied 
okay now he will ask the adjacent cell to give me free channels now suppose this cell is having uh, 12 channels and one is free channel so total is having 13 channel but it is having 12 channel completely occupied 12 channel occupied but one free channel we have then he this this cell is going to you know ask this cell to please give me any free channel if, if you have then this cell if this cell gives you this particular one free channel then keep that in mind if if he gives this one free channel then this particular cell is also going to heavily loaded earlier we have one cell heavily loaded but now at present by you know moving this particular channel to this cell this cell is also going to be heavily loaded so previously in the earlier system we have one cell heavily loaded but now because of this borrowing process we have two cells heavily loaded this should not be happened so msc keep that in mind that if we are going for a borrowing process then we uh, we do a successful borrowing process or you can say a reliable borrowing process okay so this should not be happened so instead of take instead of you know giving or moving this one free channel if the cell is having large number of free channel then he can move otherwise no okay so this is the first criteria and the next criteria is something like no interference now how this this two interference going to be happen let's say if you if i have one cell is here and the other cell is here and this cell is completely heavily loaded let me push a label here that it is occupied and this particular cell is it is not occupied or let's say it is completely free now he will ask this cell to give me one channel and now this is also one criteria that this particular cell is working on 10 kilohertz frequency let's say and this cell is also working on 10 kilohertz frequency and now as this cell is asking a free channel and this cell is giving you some free channel then both cell are using 10 kilohertz so what will happen is at a particular instance of time 10 kilohertz and 10 kilohertz from both cells are going to interfere and this is going to be a problem you getting my point here so this is going to be a problem so th that's why it is it is it is saying that no interference no interference should be uh, should be happened here okay as this fixed channel assignment is very simple and it requires you know least amount of processing power it is good but it, there are several problems such as as i told you right i hope you understand it in the next session I go, i'm going to introduce you about dynamic channel assignment and then we will see hand of strategies i hope you will understand it thank you so much for listening to me and if you haven't subscribed my channel i insist you to please subscribe it like comment and share thank you